All right. Like, uh, uh, are you ready, Joe? Yes, I'm ready, Tom. <laughs> All right, this is Tom. And I'm Joe. And this is No Huntsville. We have Chandler Hayes once again back in the studio to talk about some cool things that he's got going on. Spray Paint Hero. It's for his training for this uh, Tahiti Festival uh, graffiti competition coming up in 2015 that you're going to be training for. You got an event coming up next. Uh, this coming up Thursday, the 21st, for a fundraiser for this whole thing. So Chandler, welcome back to the studio. Nice to have you in, and thanks for coming to talk to us. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell us exactly what Spray Paint Hero is all about. Spray Paint Hero is the name of my training program this fall. Um, I've been invited to compete in the Graffiti World Championships in Tahiti in May. Right. As well as Miami Basel and Barcelona and Mexico City next winter, like before next spring. You know, we didn't preface this either. We've had you on the show before about some of the artwork that you're doing around town. A lot of murals, a lot of the graffiti that you're doing. So um, if you're not familiar with uh, Chandler, you can see a lot of his work if you just <laughs> drive around downtown yeah. Huntsville. Uh, so uh, a lot of murals that you do, uh, spray painting mostly, right? Right. And right. Uh, right. A, a lot of the uh, buildings here in town have your mark on them. So if you're not familiar with Chandler, you can see his work around. He has a, a Facebook page too where you can look him up. So, all right. So tell us about the event coming up on Thursday. Well, um, I have an outdoor show space indicator called Art Park. It's on the corner of uh, Bank Street and Cherry. Uh -huh. uh, next Thursday is the art stroll for Upper Bank Street, and so all the full-time artist venues on Bank Street will be showing. And so at the Art Park, I will be having a fundraiser for Spray Paint Hero. Okay. And basically what it is is it's a fundraiser to get paint for my training program this fall. Since I'm going to all of these places and then the World Championships next spring, um, I'm hoping to spend all of this fall in sort of a nine to five kind of training uh, capacity, and so I'll need paint for that. Sure. But, but also, I have walls during that period of time in like Chattanooga and Huntsville, Decatur, uh, some down in Florida that are all committed. But at this point, I just need the budget for the paint. Yeah, sure, because it's kind of expensive to. <laughs> well, it's it's off. actually a lot less expensive than. Uh, most means of applying or installing a mural. Um, a lot of why I got into spray paint is because it's so uh, financially sound. It's, okay. You know, it's so efficient and... Uh, you can steal a can easier than a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it dries fast and there's no prep. You know, you don't have to like get it all set. Yeah. It's one of the few things that works on concrete. So it's a great fix for uh, people with cinder block and concrete buildings. Are you going to be live, uh, doing some live painting out there when you, uh, this Thursday? If I do, it'll be just a little bit. I'm going to like put on a tie and shake hands and kiss oh, okay. babies and wow. stuff. Wow, very so. professional. <laughs> yeah. I noticed you didn't put a tie on for this show. Yes. Well, so no, I know, but I'm no, I mean, but I'm trying to represent. You know, I don't want everybody, don't want everybody to think I'm just Decatur. You know? I'm, I'm Huntsville compatible. Yeah, we are pr promoting right now a Decatur event, which is. I'm okay with it. You okay? I guess. <laughs> I'm very close to Huntsville, so we can still promote stuff like that. Hey, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what what is the training going to really involve? I mean, what's that really mean when you're talking about training for this event? Well, I've been painting murals professionally for like the past five years. And so I do a lot of commission work, but it's not a lot of traditional graffiti type stuff. And for the Graffiti World Championships, a lot of the format for that competition is being able to letter and piece and all of that kind of stuff so I'll be training mostly on traditional graffiti elements like speed and uh, lettering and uh, re uh, more realistic or uh, uh, objective type stuff like generally I do these big you know sort of gestural landscapes right, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so for the show on Thursday you'll see like there's an X-wing and there's uh, awesome, lots of yeah, animals right. and uh, and more graffiti style stuff um, like lettering and words, but so, there will also be there will also be gestural landscape stuff. So yeah. So when in the competition um, that's actually taking place in Tahiti, are you going to have to? Ch you're thinking you're going to change your style a little bit, little bit for the competition because there are certain uh, things that they're going to look for that maybe that you normally don't include in some of your art. That, that's a good question. You know, generally yes. speaking, because. I don't do a lot of traditional graffiti stuff. I right. am sort of daunted by going to the graffiti championships. Sure. But honestly, um, it just seems like a great opportunity to sort of give a name 
to the style like just coming up with like the branding for this event on Thursday and the training program in general has been a great process because I don't really fit in anywhere like I'm not really graffiti and I'm not really this and I'm not really that and so um, because I've been invited to go out and generally speaking there aren't usually a lot of Americans at these things mm -hmm. it's really Mortal Kombat I know I keep saying that but it's, <laughs> I'm really into that because it's like this sandy island where all of these champs from around the world come and compete and so like there it's are like the Kumite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should have said... Uh, people will now nod and okay, know exactly yeah. what we're oh, talking yeah. about. Very was Van damn -ish. Too, Was that too old school? With Mortal Kombat? <laughs> no, that about happening? the same... Probably in the okay, same uh, time right. frame, actually. So okay. go ahead. Sorry. Oh, but anyway. Um, but anyway, there's not usually a lot of Americans there. Okay. Um, there's a few, and I'm not trying to talk smack about any of them by any stretch, but... Of course not. But usually in terms of competitive spray painting, that's, you know, South Pacific guys, French guys, European guys. It's not usually American guys, but it's an American invention. And it was yeah. invented the same year we landed on the moon. So I think it's pretty Huntsville. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Tied it right in. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. So I really want to go and sort of wave the flag and all that kind of stuff. Sure. And so I have all these walls and stuff that want to help me out, like all these sponsors and stuff, but I just don't have the paint to do it. And so... I'll be training all fall, painting at my studio in Decatur, but also painting walls throughout the region to get ready for um, Miami and Barcelona in December, and then Mexico City in February, and then Australia and New Zealand before Tahiti in May. <laughs> wow. Right. Pretty boring stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, so tell me, do, tell me the rules and the, how do they judge these how do they go about judging a competition like this well it's 10 so, days okay. and there is a panel of judges and the and it's strict tournament style okay um i don't know about this year um but like last year uh christopher lambert was there okay the guy who plays raiden in mortal kombat what? <laughs> what is he's also he's also the highlander but Okay. But since it's, you know, this big French thing in Tahiti and everything, he was the celebrity judge last year. Okay, so, so he was a judge. Yeah. So there is a panel of judges, and right. a lot of it's about time and stuff like that. But, I mean, is it one piece they're going to look at that you do, or a series of pieces? No, or? it'll be, it'll be, it'll be like, uh, I think there's something like, I don't remember how many competitors you start with, but you do narrow down. It's and a bracket so, thing? Mm -hmm. Like, you go heads uh, up with somebody, so more, and then yeah. whoever's the best goes to the next one? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. But again, the competition is just sort of like the finale for this pro tour kind of thing that I'm doing, um, mm -hmm. like December, January, February, March, you know, and April. <laughs> <laughs> but like all the time up until then and all the time during then, I have this studio indicator that's dedicated to training and um, it has gotten larger and so there are lots of local artists coming out and I'm facilitating sort of these workshops and stuff indicator now hoping to sort of bring some people over from Huntsville this past week <clears throat> to promote the event on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I had some guys from Huntsville come out and we went up to the roof of the Ralston room and did some live art and stuff and so all that's on Instagram. Yeah, it, it all looks pretty good too. Are you, you, you're going to uh, raffle off one of those pieces? Yeah, yeah. One of those pieces is a surfboard that I did with Jimmy Hart and um, we're going to raffle that off on Thursday. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Too. Eric Echoes is going to be there singing on Thursday. Uh, Mr. White's going to come and DJ. Um, trying to think. It's during the art stroll. There's a dump truck and a jet ski. <laughs> That's on the list. I saw the jet ski. You, you, you tagged that thing in pretty good, huh? Yeah. And uh, you can find more um, information about Spray Paint Hero on Facebook. It's just forward slash Spray Paint Hero. And you have some of your art. And... Uh, the containers that you're uh, that you're, you're working on are pretty neat, man. They're, they're, they look really nice. The uh, is that a herring or is it? Yeah, uh, no, it's a blue herring. Blue herring, it's beautiful. So, Thank you. Um, yeah, should uh, people should go out to Facebook and look up Spray Paint Hero and see some of the art you're doing. Definitely try Good to come stuff. out to uh, Decatur on Thursday, the 21st, to help support Chandler and his epic. Uh, uh, Tour now of across the whole world to train for a Tahiti competition. It sounds laying it down for Merck. <laughs> yeah, USA and trying to bring it home way. for Huntsville and uh, for the country. Actually, so yeah. it's a pretty big deal. It is. He is so, a big deal. All right, uh, Chandler. Thanks for coming in and talking to us today. Again, that's uh, Spray Paint Hero on Facebook. There's also the uh, there's a website for the uh, Tahitian competition 
which is TahitiFestivalGraffiti.com, where you can check out information about it. It looks pretty cool. They have a video on there as well. And uh, just come out and support Chandler. Support local artists here, like Chandler. Yes. And uh, thanks again for coming in. Appreciate Thank it. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right.